Oh my god! Okay! Yeah, you you need to go, buddy. Yo, what is going on my people? So today we're actually reacting to something that you guys been recommending me for a long time. And today we're actually checking out the tri -Red Witness archives. This has been recommended me almost every subscriber horror movie night. I'm gonna be honest, I never got a chance to really watch them and pay attention to them like that. So we're gonna watch the whole thing today. So I hope you guys will enjoy. Go ahead, grab your snacks, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, join Legend Day Army today. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Let's dive on in. Let's do it. Alright guys, so this is the tri -Red Witness archives missing child. So we're about to check this out. Now, we did see this one a while ago, but I, like I said, I most likely forgot most of it. So we're about to check this out anyway. Let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, make sure everything's on. Let's get it. Get out here. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. I appreciate it. And leave a comment, too. Okay. Volume up? This is very quiet. Okay. Your child goes missing. Dealing with a loved one missing is a hard thing to deal with. Hopefully, with the help of TCMPAP, can guide you into a scenario of how to deal with finding a missing loved one. Pace Springs Police should always be notified for a missing person, but with strong emotions, finding a missing loved one will always be the most logical mental action. I don't trust none of this. Why is there a silhouette on the? There's a silhouette on the playground, bro. <laughs> this is freaking me out right now. Father and mother lose their daughter at Triad Park. Triad Park. Okay. Mother is hysterical, but the father keeps his composure. The mother is. Remembers the four easy steps. Oh my God. How can I remain calm after that? Step two, stay exactly where you last saw her. Step three, describe to the park ranger what the... Yo, what was those lights on the... Step four. Except the fact you what? <laughs> Never found me. Told me to go to the forest. They had a gift for me. I wanted to be loved. See, okay. They loved me. First, do you remember? Do you remember me? Home is here. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's up with the? Oh my God! Alex. Alex. Now I do remember this part. Alex. Okay, maybe not the ending. I don't remember that ending. I forgot a lot of details in this first vid. Here at Triad Witness Archives, we are here to help find you. Well then, that was something. I forgot. Like I said, I did. I did see this before a while ago. I believe this was months ago, guys. So I vaguely remember most of this stuff. I just remember the part where the guy's running, but not the ending where you see people surrounding him. I, I don't know about that one, but try res try red witness archives. I gotta get used to saying that name. I'm not gonna lie, but yo, we about to jive on into the next one, guys. This one was pretty good. This is missing program. Tr uh, trigger warning. Okay, so you've been warned, guys. Let's go. And the thumbnail, I guess, is based off a cartoon. I'm assuming. Hey. Hold up. 
Hey. Yo, I love these tracks, man, that they be putting in here. But most likely, it's probably copyright. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to mute it. Oh, man. I'm probably gonna have to mute the whole, uh, this part. I'll probably put my own track or something. It's always copyright for some reason. YouTube just tags it, so. Hey, it is what it is. I don't remember this at all. I don't think I've seen this one. And something like this will stick in your head. Like... This is disturbing. This is actually LBC Channel Four. That kind Service of scary. to the Tri Red community. Hey. 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 Why does it remind me of, like some type of classic Sonic theme? I'm not gonna lie, it kind of does. Okay, the music just stopped. I'm I'm kind of concerned now. Um, this is pretty freaking. <laughs> oh my god! Last known in Tri Red, <laughs> age 15, oh missing since January 13th. <sighs> that okay? I I don't like that, dude. <laughs> I don't like that too. Adriana Padilla. Whereabouts unknown. Age 20. Missing since February 13th.
It's like going Jeff off of Garcia. that. Whereabouts unknown. Going off Age of 19. the um, missing since March 13th. It just said you're too curious down there, bro. Stop reading my brain, bro. I'm about to. I was just about to ask a question to you guys. <laughs> It said you too curious in the closed captions. This is what we do now. No, I, I was I was legit about to say I'm like these are missing people. That song that literally they implanted in my brain talking about feed forgotten repeat on the text at the bottom, bro. Like, did they get fed to something? These missing people, or am I am I re am I reaching too far into it? You know, like, and there's literally nothing on the screen right now, and it's bugging the heck out of me. Jade Green. Oh. Last seen in the Tri Red Entrance Park. Age 24. Missing since April 13th. 24. So these are like ages very all over the place, then. It's not just young little kids, it's adults, too. God dang. That's. Disturbing. So I'm I'm assuming that these are all just like, what the heck was that on the screen? What I'm saying is I'm assuming that these are, you know, kidnappings. That's what I'm assuming. In this, the disappearances. Whenever you go to Triret Park, and crazy things happen up there, as you can see. Even the missing girl we seen in the first video. Why is my Why is the screen not moving, bro? <laughs> I'm, con I'm concerned and confused. What the heck is that? Ew, what is that? Oh, is that what they did to her face? Or is that a mask? That looked like a mask. Yeah, it looked like a mask though. Okay. I, I think I'm starting to get the picture here. Oh my god, that was... I wasn't ready for that. Oh my god. Um... That's what happened. The whoever I guess kidnapped these people did that to their faces, put that marking and junk on their forehead, and nah, bro, that's that was genuinely terrifying. I'm not gonna lie, that was genuinely terrifying. And then the whole, the whole, oh, 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 why does she smile? Oh, heck no. All right, guys, so we got the longest one. This one is 18 minutes long. The Trial Witness Archives Missing Project. So we're about to check this out as well. This was actually the main one I do recall being sent to me on Subscriber Home Movie Nights, and we did not check it out. So we're about to dive on in. Whew, what we getting into? What we getting into, guys? There's no closed captions either, so. All right, let's go. Dive, let's dive deeper into this crazy mystery, man. Cause I'm genuinely curious. I, I am. I really am. Hernan Hernandez. Okay. Search terms Hernandez for. It's a database. I can't read that. <laughs> I want to read it, guys, but I can't read it. Tell me a little bit about yourself and describe your work experience. So I uh, just graduated college. I got my criminal justice degree. Um, I really want to help out town. Uh, everything's kind of been crazy, and I kind of want to get to the. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. No. This is a very stressful job. It could be very stressful at times. 
would trust that job. You do with pressure or stressful situations. I take a moment and I breathe. I try to recollect my thoughts. And yeah. this, it is very stressful, but I think I have the passion and drive to really get to the bottom of it. All right. Hmm. Now, how did you hear about this position? Well, I mean, my dad was a police officer. He retired, and he was in this case, and, you know, he's my hero. And this was the last case he was on, and really? I kind of want to help him and give him some closure. Don't even do it. Don't so, even do it. As you know, your no. father was a retired policeman. He did work with the TT at PAP. Um, are you anything like your father? Very hard headed, stubborn, is willing to go to the expense to make sure that this company is successful in finding missing people. So, in short, do you think you have what it takes just like your father? I'll probably live up to his legacy. But I am stubborn. I am hard-headed. And I will get to the mm. Even if it kills me. No. Alright, as you know, we search for you are a part of the team. Can you t tell me one time where you had to be the leader of the team? Yeah, I can tell you a time. Uh, one time, a couple of friends and I went camping, and everything was going good until my friend Jade got stung by a bee. And most of my friends are, I guess you could say, squeamish. So I had to get an EpiPen and jab her in the thigh so she, you know, doesn't have any to her. Alright. So, while being a researcher, you don't just take on one case. You take on quite a bit. You know, some, some of the time you take on one or two cases. Um, when you're balancing multiple projects, how do you like to keep yourself organized? If you know anything about my dad, you know he's he was a neat freak, and I guess I caught that bug. He still has a lot of the archives while he was working at TCMPAP, and he has a whole room dedicated to his work. The cleanest room in the house, even. It's kind of strange. I think he's getting set up. I think he's getting set up. No, we went over your strong suits. We went over why you think you'd be good for this job. But the hardest thing to, you know, get out in an interview is to tell me what is your greatest weakness. I feel like that's very revealing about a person. So, what would you say are your greatest weaknesses? Honestly, the only weakness I have is I get scared when things get too close to home. I lose my mind when things get, excuse me, but a little bit fucked. I lose it a bit like my friends and family when things get hectic inside of me I lose track telling you they I guess you can say my world. dedication and care can be both my strong suit and my weakness sorry if that's cliche dude you getting set up bro so a lot of people have heard about the bomb 40 second occurrences you know who here gets scared about that fact? No, you don't miss it every 40 seconds. It must be a lot to deal with. Especially since you will be working hands on with that fact, you know? With that being said, do you think you and Spencer will be the one to slow down these occurrences? Yeah, I mean, with something as eerie as that, how could you not shiver at that fact? I think I've had enough of it, and I want to slow it down personally. 
where it gets to 30 seconds, then 20 seconds, and then 10. Anything to slow it down. I'm afraid it might reach one of my loved ones. And I'll die before that happens. What's up with this sound? Oh, that's the end of the log. Yo, I want to say this real quick. My boy got set up. There's no freaking way. First off, they ask you all these questions. And then you following your dad's footsteps that obviously he got clapped. So, what? My boy, you falling right into their trap, man. Oh, I'm going to follow what my dad uh, didn't finish. You wonder why he got clapped because he investigating this creepy, disturbing stuff, man. What do you expect? You want to continue to follow his footsteps? Nah. Nah. You, you, yeah. You gon' he, he got folded too. Guaranteed he got folded too. Dang, talking about what is your greatest weakness? Things that's close to home, my family. He brought his family into it just by opening his mouth. Okay, work instructions. Turn on sound. Okay. Empowers family members of missing persons to enter and search case information i.e. builds a strong foundation between criminal justice and the families to find the whereabouts of the missing person. Hmm. Click to continue. Loki, I was about to grab my mouse. <laughs> Search the internet and public databases. <laughs> Study police records regarding the case. Try red witness find charges. Fees start at $450 to find a person if you have some basic information about the person, Dang. such as a full name, date of birth, recent address, workplace, area of residence, etc. Click to continue. What will the police do? Police must ensure that they are safe, that they haven't been a victim of crime, and that they will not come to further harm. If any evidence is found, discard it immediately, do not report. Do not keep for evidence. Click to continue. Hmm. Follow the FCKQD rule. Jeez, that acronym. Find. Collect. Keep. Quiet. Discard. What? Items to discard. Shirts that are three times missing person size. Any personal belongings such as body jewelry, hair clips, rings, cassette tapes and or CDs, etc. Discard all masks. Excuse me? See, I knew that acronym was... Man, nah, bro. That acronym was all the way off. No freaking way. <laughs> Oh no, there's an error training, of course, continue to reset training. Oh, I'm about to say, I thought something about to pop off. That, that was crazy. Tell me to discard all masks. So that mask does do something to the person. Or they are part of, I think, what I think this is, the people who are behind the mask is like some type of secret cult. And I want to say their main gathering place is that park. And plus, I wouldn't even say, like, I'll even say this. The park is a good spot to get some new Tri members. Tri-Red Witness Foundation was founded on January oh, 11, okay. 2000. By the founder redacted. It was founded because the history behind of the 1999-42nd occurrences for four months straight teens new and young adults people. were going missing left and right. 16 Due to, to this, 24. the Tri-Red Witness Foundation was that. made after being a strong company the next year DWF bought out the TCMPAP program by the Tri-Red Police Department on May 24, 2004. 2004? TCMPAP was a program already established it was made on September 7, 1999. The DWF would have a branch that focused mainly on missing people, without having to be in the Tri-Red Police Department. Click to continue. Uh, something about the, the, the police department, I Some just don't trust. The you know? are off limits for team members and lead searchers. There are four main areas at the TCMPAP facility. Here you'll find the main office. Accepting calls, day to day big picture activities, we such as making missing you. poster signs, sorting all files important to keep TCMPAP, a healthy, successful program. I just thought of the Down new this hallway, too, guys. we'll find the main rooms where we keep this a successful program and a safer town. Next, our project's room. Here we will discuss with the families, interrogation if needed, and about the disappearance. In this room, we will also needed. talk about our game plan. A strong founded strategy of how we will find their loved one. Oh, okay. Some places. Uh, 
hello? Off limits. There are four. What the heck? This hallway leads to our executive room. That's only accessible to Triard Witness founders and creators. creators. And is not accessible by crew members. You may not enter this room. You may not enter this room. Dude, I know room. my suspicion you is going... Dude, I swear the police department is conspiring, man. They with the... Man, they with these crazy people. And yeah, you know In what else they can we do? Keep the body of... The body of what? <laughs> Yo. Dude, this is crazy because I'm like, literally that gives them easy access to get more people talking about, oh, what is this missing person, blah, 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 blah. Just get all the information you need. Then they can kidnap another person of your family members or your loved ones. Same thing that happened with Hernandez. This dude got too into it, man. I'm telling you, they got to him. It was like, no, 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 you too suspicious, my guy. You gotta go. Some of your family members too. See, like, what's up with the Resident Evil door? This is a good mystery. I'm glad you guys recommended this to me. I know it took me a while to get to everything, but it's really good. Man. And honestly, just the theming behind this does give me the chills. I'm not going to lie. It really does. Oh, God. What are we about to get into? Oh, would you like to reset your training course? Please press forward button to reset. Okay. Now, my question is, what happened to Hernandez, though, after that audio? Did he get kidnapped? Did he get folded? I honestly think he got folded. Because I'm like, they asking too many crazy questions. I highly doubt for an interview, they'll be asking you some questions like that. The door's open. Dude, this is make this is giving me goosebumps, bro. Oh. Why do you have two right hands? I just peeped that. This person got two right hands. You know he a mutant. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, you you need to go, buddy. Oh my god, okay. What the heck? Oh my stomach. <laughs> oh my god. You're near completion of your lead searcher orientation. One last thing before we wrap up. Here's the tell telltale signs of someone who is about to disappear. So are they just divulging their plans? Dude, that was creepy, man. Holy God. Who was that? Yo, what is even happening? Uh, I don't know if it's so uh, embarrassing. Here. 
If I don't do something now, I'm always going to be stuck here. And I can't. I won't. What? I barely got some of that. Some of that. I'm not really sure what she was saying clearly. Um, maybe if you guys heard it, maybe you can tell me in the comments. That's probably a lot to write. Never mind. <laughs> I wouldn't want to put you guys through that. But, um, oh. Triwet was founded in 1839. Said most known for its woods and parks. Towns and animals were reclusive, brown, uh, okay, largest population, all right. Let's see, here we have Turner's beautiful lake, the Wish Lake. Indian tribes lost the Tailtarios, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. <laughs> so our Mexican indigenous tribe that are here once tried to attack, okay. So you got, oh my lord, who wore a mask to hide their faces. Let's some try less you see more you think less you speak more you say. That's some disturbing mass, dude. Try the very own symbol. So this is where it's derived from. The word O represents the face. Then it shows symbol sense of believe the curse I drew in them. Okay. And he try to read tone facts. Heaven's backyard. Most attractive, largest brown reclusive bear community, although the heavens of backyard hell's raceway because of heavy traffic. What? Children go missing every 40 seconds? What? Okay, alright guys, so we got a short one. This one is wakey wakey. It's only 48 seconds long. So, that's the final part. Let's go. Let's do it, man. What are we getting into? Huh? Hey, Dad. Don't forget to oh, yeah, we did, we did see this. Okay, 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 okay. So I did see this on Subscriber Horror Movie Night, but I had no previous context. This makes a lot more, this is going to make so much more sense now since I got, you know, context all the way up till now. So, yeah, let's go, let's go. Keep watching. I think your password was like Tomo one seven five or Tomo one five six. What the hell? I know you're upset right now. Is that the new website? Right it's all gonna be okay. Episode 4. Yo, looking forward to it. I'm actually really excited about that. That's pretty freaking cool. Now, I actually have context on what the heck I looked at. <laughs> it's almost like I watched this on Subscriber Horror Movie Night. I'm like, huh? It's creepy, yeah, but I don't know what I looked at. Now I know exactly what, it, like, pretty much what's going to happen or what I think is going to happen which is pretty freaking cool since I have previous context of watching this but now I do want to shout out to all of you guys who actually did send that I believe it was Swag uh, Swaggy who actually sent me the Tri Witness in the first place so a huge shout out to Swaggy uh, for that one I do want to give my general shout outs too because I believe Swaggy's been sending me this for a very long time and I honestly like I said I haven't got a chance to fully dissect the whole series but now I managed to make a whole video on it, so you guys don't have to worry about it. And I'm excited for um, part four. That That's going to be awesome. But yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, so that was the Trial Witness Archives. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. It was very different, like I said before. And it was kind of a spontaneous reaction video. But I felt like I owe you guys just because you've been recommending me this for a long time. And honestly, I haven't given it a fair chance, so I wanted to start from the very beginning all the way through. And now I know what the heck I'm looking at, and I'm very terrified. <laughs> this is a really good and underrated series, and definitely deserves a lot more, you know, love and support as well. So, because they already got like, what, 3K subscribers, and they definitely deserve way more than that. It's really freaking good. So, huge shout out to the Tri Witness Archives. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe. I do greatly appreciate it if you are new. Um, and yeah, we're on a road to 20K. So, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.